Hi everyone, I'm Claire. It's Women in Space Week at the National Space Centre, so I thought I'd share with you some of the lesser known women who helped put man on the moon. If you've seen the film Hidden Figures, you'll be familiar with three women who were mathematicians and worked as computers at NASA. Katherine Johnson calculated the trajectory for Alan Shepard's mission to be the first American in space, and then John Glenn asked for her personally to check the calculations for his mission to orbit the Earth. Dorothy Vaughan became the first African-American manager for the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, which later became NASA. Mary Jackson became NASA's first black female engineer in 1958. She then took a demotion in 1979 to be able to impact the hiring and promotion of the next generation of women. Here are some of NASA's other female firsts. Margaret Brennick was the first female welding engineer at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. She was in charge of making critical decisions on the materials used to build the Saturn V rocket. Judy Sullivan was the first female engineer in NASA spacecraft operations. She was head engineer of the biomedical system where she would monitor the astronauts' health while they were on a mission. Before each mission, she would place sensors on the astronauts, including on the Apollo 11 mission. Joanne Morgan was an instrument controller and the first woman permitted to be in the firing room for Apollo 11. She was in charge of the guidance computers, as well as the communications and television systems. During her 45-year career at NASA, she completed a lot of firsts, including the first female senior executive of the Kennedy Space Center. Her last mission was the Spirit and Opportunity Mars rovers. Over in Mission Control, Poppy Northcutt was the only woman in there for Apollo 8. She was a human computer who worked in the trans-Earth injection phase. She was also a key person during Apollo 13, help bring the astronauts home safely. Margaret Hamilton led the team developing the guidance and navigation system for the Apollo spacecraft. The software her team developed for Apollo 11 was later adapted for the space shuttle and Skylab missions. Finally, there's Hazel Fellows, who represents a group of women, seamstresses, who put together the Apollo astronaut spacesuits. They worked for the International Latex Corporation, who were more well known for making girdles and bras. They put the 21 layer suit together by hand and by normal sewing machine. One small mistake would mean life or death for an astronaut. Those were just some of the incredible women out of 400,000 people who helped put a man on the moon. Me and astronaut Quackers want to know, who's your favourite woman in space? <laughs>